In this area, there are three of our residence halls. Collectively, they're known as SOA. Right over there is Aiken. Behind me is Stuart. And across the way is Odell. Um, so they collectively do a lot of their events together in the spring and the fall. They have picnics and barbecues on this lawn. People are always hanging out there or throwing a frisbee, playing soccer. Um, some other cool things about SOA is that it houses two of our living learning communities, which are floors or buildings that focus on specific areas of interest of student life. So in Aiken, they have multicultural engagement uh, living learning community. And then in Stewart, they have the holistic wellness living learning community. So on the bottom floor of Stewart, there is a gym and a meditation room that is open to all students that live there, um, which is really nice so you don't have to walk all the way to our athletic building to go work out. Um, some of my favorite things about SOA is that every Wednesday they have Waffle Wednesday at 9 p.m. There's waffles and pancakes and all the fixings in one of their lounges. It's a great study break, great midweek pick me up. We have three apartments on campus. They're for upperclassmen, so juniors and seniors. You can live in a quad or a double. In both of those living arrangements, you have your own room, you have a kitchen, and an old bathroom. So basically, living in an apartment just on campus. Right over here is West, our first apartment. Behind that is Robert, and then we also have one called East. They're all really nice. Hi everyone, so this is the Forest Complex. It's a home to five brick buildings. Bruce Ponderosa, Manzanita, and Alder are open to all grade levels. So freshman to senior year, you can live there. Juniper is open to only upperclassmen, so that means juniors and seniors only, and it is all single. Like our other dorms, they have a main common lounge, but because they are four, five different buildings, they also have one outside of all that that they all have access to called Tamarack. It has a foosball table, exercise equipment, a TV, vending machine, and a pool table for students to use. Below Tamarack, there is the co-op or the coop, and that is a student-run space uh, for students, by students, and it's, has, it's open access to everyone. People will host concerts there, the improv show is shown there, and they also have a cafe um, certain days of the week, also run by students. Also has uh, living learning communities. They have environmental action and outdoor pursuits, and you can go and apply to live there, and you can be there with other like-minded people. Here, this is Spruce. Um, down there is Ponderosa. Um, it's a closer look at the Coop and Tamarack. So to my left, we have Hartsfeld Hall, um, and it's made up of four different blocks, A, B, C, and D, and this is open to sophomores, and um, and it's all quads, so it's two doubles, and then with a shared bathroom. So if you want a little more privacy, this is a good place to go. To my right, we have Holmes Hall. It's our newest hall on campus, um, and they have some of the biggest rooms here, too. This is also open to sophomore and up. They are made up of singles and doubles, and then also suites, which are two doubles, and then a shared living space, but no shared bathroom. This is Platt. Platt houses two more of our living learning communities. The first is VAPA. VAPA stands for Visual and Performing Arts. So everyone in this building is an artist, musician. They get chalkboard doors. They can draw whatever they want on, which is really cool. They also get free access to the Plateau, which is coming up right over here. The Plateau is our student-run art center. So it has a, a big art studio. It has a music room, a dance studio a ceramic studio and a dark room, um, which is really awesome. And uh, students, if they don't live in Napa, they can also get access for $5 a semester. And you get all of the equipment and supplies that is in the plateau. Another part is Global Village. Global Village is where a lot of our language majors will live. Um, so they're all together. Um, there's extra tutoring that happens in here as well. This is Copeland. This is our largest residence hall on campus. It's been said that Copeland is amazing because it's a little bit of a maze if you don't know where you're going. But once you do, it's pretty easy to get around. We'll head inside now and see one of our rooms. Copeland has another one of our living learning communities in it. Uh, experiment, which is STEM based, so if you have any interest in STEM, this is a great place to live. Here's one of our lounges that are on all of the floors and a kitchen as well. So this is one of our doubles on campus. 
As you can see, there's a closet on each side for both of the residents. These beds are movable, so you can lock them or bunk them if you want more space for activities. There's a desk and you can move lots of things around. All of the floors are carpeted, which I think is really nice. The next group of residence hall, let's start with Howard. Howard is just a traditional residence hall. It's open to all levels of students. People really like living in here because they have super large doubles. This is Maggie's, it's one of two cafes on campus. This one is just on the residential side. On the weekdays, it's open from 8 a.m. until midnight and on the weekends from noon until midnight. At Maggie's, you can get snacks like chips or ice cream, frozen meals, things like that. And you can also sometimes use your meal swipes for dinners or lunches. Oh, they also do coffees. 